In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome zoom transition right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you just want to first begin by dragging two videos onto your timeline. So you can see we've got this first video here. This is me just walking and prepping a shot. So I'm just gonna cut the first half of that. So we've got the shot here and we're going to zoom into the second clip, which is this one. And this is me just setting up a, another different shot. So I'm gonna go from here, this shot, into this shot. So you want to basically cut the first video at the start of the second video. So one video should run into another. And if you want the keyboard shortcut for how to cut a video, you want to select the video, hold Command, Shift and D and that should make a cut. So once you've completed that, we now want to go ahead and search for motion tile in effects and presets. So motion tile is there and we're gonna drop that on to the second video clip. There we go, so we've got our first clip into our second clip. Now we're gonna come back to motion tile in a moment, but next we're gonna go into layer, new, null object, and we'll press okay on this. So we've got a null object, and now from here, we're going to select both of these layers, use this pip whip tool and drag that onto null one. So this means that when we control the null object, if we increase the scale or the position or rotation, everything is affected. So we'll take this back up to 100%. And now from here, we just need to figure out the transition to go from here to here. So we're gonna zoom into this shot and reveal this shot. So we're gonna to scroll to the very end of this video clip, then we'll come back on ourselves by around 10 frames. And we'll create a brand new keyframe on the scale and the position on the null object. Now we'll go forwards in space towards the end of that minus one keyframe. And then we'll just zoom in. So we'll zoom in to around, let's say 500%. So we're gonna do this fast zoom into this column here. And then as you can see, the second clip comes in and it is really zoomed in. So from here, we're just gonna go over to the very beginning of this second clip. We're gonna press S on the keyboard to load up scale and we'll decrease the scale so that it now fills the screen. So that is 22. So if we play this back, you can see we've now zoomed in to this clip, but the problem is this clip is no longer moving. So we're just gonna move this second keyframe over to the right. And if we play this back, you can see we're now doing this zoom, but the problem is it's a little bit too slow. So we're just gonna close those keyframes together. We're just gonna close that gap a little bit. And as you can see, we've got this zooming effect happening. Of course, you're more than welcome to create a bounce if you wanted to add more carrot to this. So we'll go to the second keyframe, go to the right a few frames, create a brand new keyframe on scale and position. Then we'll go back to that second keyframe and we'll just zoom in just a little bit. So we'll go 550. So now we've got this bouncing effect. Of course though, as you can see, we can see this black video around this video, and that is because we are now at a smaller scale than 100%. So this is where we're going to revisit motion tile. So select that second video, go into motion tile, and as you can see, we've got tile center, tile width, tile height, output width, output height, and then these other settings here. So we'll change the output width to 300. Then we'll change the output height to 300 as well. And then next you want to select mirror edges. So as you can see, selecting mirror edges has filled in that black space. And once you play this back with the camera movement, once we've added some motion blur to this, this is going to be completely invisible. So that is what we're going to do next. We are going to select toggle switches slash modes. And then you can see we've got this motion blur box here. So select the two videos and then we'll select the motion blur box and then make sure the motion blur icon is blue. If it's gray, then the motion blur is not on. If it's blue, it's on. So make sure that is on. And there you go. You can see we've got this really awesome zooming transition. Of course, if you wanted to speed this up, then you just decrease the gap between those keyframes. So pull the first keyframes to the right, the second keyframe to the left, and that is much faster now. But once you're happy with the look of that, you just want to go ahead and select all of the keyframes, right click on any one of them. It doesn't matter which one. We'll go to Keyframe Assistant and select Easy Ease. This is your keyframe interpolation and selecting this option basically means After Effects is going to slowly ease in and out of each keyframe rather than suddenly stopping and starting. It looks a lot more natural. And there you go. 
Once you pair this with some beautiful sound design, that is going to look really awesome in your video. So that is the zoom transition right inside of Adobe After Effects. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.